What's up guys? Welcome back to Horsepower and Pizza. Oh man, it's only right that something goes wrong on week 13 of Video Thursday. Lucky 13 got us. As you probably saw in the thumbnail and as you're going to see right here, the head is indeed cracked. I went into work this week. I got permission from the owner of the shop. I was going to bring the head in after hours, measure everything, make sure it was still in spec because I'm not sure if it was cut before or not. Put it on the table, see how much it rocked with feeler gauges. And I'll show you how I do that in another video. So I came home from work Thursday night, getting ready for last week's video to post and everything. And I figured, oh, I'll clean up the head before I take it in. I'll cut it after hours on Friday. So I scraped the gasket off of it, and as I'm scraping the gasket off of it, the gasket scraper caught a high spot, and there shouldn't be a high spot on the head, so I went down over it again, and it caught it again, so I start feeling around, and sure enough, where the head gasket was blown, which you saw in last week's video, if you didn't see last week's video, here's a picture of that, right where the head gasket's blown in the two small spots, that's where the head is cracked. I think I forgot to mention it in the disassembly video as well. When I took the thermostat housing out, there was no thermostat in the engine. So I'm going to be putting the thermostat back in it. As far as I can tell, the block is still good, but I'm gonna take you out to the shop and show you the head right now. When I roll the head over here, you can see there's a crack right there at that valve. And there's one right there at the adjacent valve. Because of where they're located, not really much that I can do about it. So this is basically just like a 40 or 50 pound aluminum paperweight at this point. I didn't even ask Scott if the head that he has for me has all the valves and everything in it. So I'm just keeping this for right now. If worse comes to worst, we might have to replace these two valves because I'm not sure if that would have damaged the top of the valves or not. We're gonna find out, I suppose. The valves can definitely be cleaned up as long as none of them are bent, I think we'll be all right. I talked to Lorenzo, he has another head, but he said the exhaust studs probably need welded shut and then redrilled and tapped. It's definitely something I'm capable of doing but it's a little bit more work than I'm looking to get into right now. I wanted to cut this head, put it back together and be done with it. Luckily this morning I texted my friend Scottro. Many of you on the East Coast BMW Classifieds page and Pennsylvania BMW Classifieds page on Facebook probably know Scottro. He buys and parts out all sorts of older stuff all the time, mainly a lot of E38s and E39s. I texted Scott, I said, hey, look, man, I need a head for a Venos M50. He said, all right, I got you. Let me see what I have. Sent me a picture. He's got a couple different heads. So I Venmoed Nolan. Nolan is going to pick up the head, and then I will just pick up the head from Nolan next time I head out to Pittsburgh, probably next weekend. So as of right now, I'm kind of at a standstill with the car, I'm trying to stay consistent with the Video Thursday upload schedule, so I'm not trying to post a filler video, but I wanted to update everybody on where we are at as far as reassembly of the M50 goes. I know this was a quick one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, be sure to give this a huge thumbs up. Subscribe. If you want to support us, go to www.horsepowerandpizza.com. There's stickers, there's shirts, anything helps. It all goes right back into the channel. If you're into podcasts, if you go on iTunes, Spotify, or Google Podcasts and search Horsepower and Pizza or the Cold Pizza Podcast, we have a podcast on there. I'm trying to get more consistent with doing that, but with everybody quarantined right now, I'm not really trying to have a bunch of people come into my office and do that. So we will get more up to date with that hopefully as this season continues. But as of right now, my goal is to get the car back together. If I get out to drive it once or twice this year, I'll be happy. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Build it for you.